Hi guys, I guess it's time to get some aesthetic orgasms. Behold a collection of our top best jewelry pieces from the last month. For those who just joined us, under this video we do not leave negative comments regarding the design just because in 80% of cases the designer is a customer. We are just modest wizards who make your dreams come true. So if you think that there could be a way better color combination or you could come up with much better idea of the prongs or whatever, just think, how would you feel if someone was publicly belittling somewhat what you consider your joy and pride? Besides, we are all adults here, so instead of being a hater, be a buyer. Order the ring which you personally will create with our designers, so to make sure that no other idiot spoils the masterpiece. Also, we do not publish the prices here out of respect to the current owners. However, if you fall in love with one of the designs, never be shy just to ask me directly in WhatsApp for a quote on a similar piece. I will be able to give you an approximate budget picture. Ok, let's get started. Number 1. Here we have the perfect everyday ring. It's got a minimalist design, sturdy prongs and a subtle spinel in noble tones. The ring setting is in the form of a lotus, which is a symbol of purity and self-development. A little cute ring which will suit any occasion, literally. Number two is another variation of a lotus ring, but with much more massive details. The gemstone is also a bit bigger. Here we have got a vivid red garnet and yellow gold. I like this style of gems because of their universal look. They go perfectly well both with a cocktail ring and a casual style jewelry. Number 3. One more garnet from Tanzania, gold and white diamonds. The classic ring which is still perfect for daily wear. Look how tight and reliable it is claimed between the prongs. It is highly unlikely that it will cling onto something when you put your hands in a pocket or in a purse. So that is important, I believe. Number 4. A male bracelet with dark spinel and blackened gold. This little lizard might be a famous in Asian countries chinchok lizard, which is a symbol of love and success um, in romantic relationship. It looks like that to me, but only the owner knows the truth. Some of you are afraid to buy black and gold, I know, because the black will wear off eventually. But you forget that nothing lasts forever. Classic yellow gold also needs annual maintenance, so really, just choose whatever you like. Number 5. A pendant with a quartz from Brazil. Don't be surprised, quartz from Brazil is not your average quartz, which you can find literally anywhere. In Brazil, they mine rare and expensive forest quartz, which is a pattern of a winter forest. Ruminated quartz, the one with the golden threads or stars inside, and this silk thread quartz. That is what you see on your screen right now. The silk threads are not rutile exactly, but a very close related chemical composition. It is called brookit. Number six. This ring is interesting maybe not for the sake of the design, but for the gem. It is an unheated tanzanite. For our new guest, I will explain quickly that tanzanites obtain their vivid blue color only after heating. Until that, they are mostly boring brown or pale violet. However, some of them are on rare occasion, can be pretty without any treatment, this is such a case. And by the way, unheated tanzanite is also the most wallet-friendly option if you're looking for an unusual gem in a very subtle hues. Number 7, 8 and 9. Here we have got a set, a pendant, ring and earrings. The design is inspired by Gothic cathedrals. You can see hints of Gothic towers and arcs. Notice how the pieces look heavy, but they're actually light. Our designers and testers use a technique to create these structures with cavities inside. So on one hand, it helps save on material, and on the other hand, it saves your ears from stretching. Number 10, a daily lotus-shaped ring, very comfy and versatile. What is interesting about it, though, is the gem. This, my dear friends, is a Malaya garnet. It is rare and therefore expensive, and the price keeps growing. Hopefully, this year we will make it to the mining fields in Africa and we'll be able to show you where these little precious guys are coming from. Number 11 and 12 is a stat as well. 
and it is available for sale. So you don't have to wait for six months. Yep, that's the waiting line on pearl strings with our beads because many of you like this project and started ordering it a lot. Anyways, this is Black Tate Pearls and African Collection Beads. We also make beads in Mexican and Gothic style. And let me just quickly remind you that Natural Pearl is a great investment. Normally, the price goes steadily 30% up each year, but this year it made 60%, which is, I believe, great. Number 13, the very first jewelry piece that we made with that famous Afghanistan Blue Lagoon Tourmaline. As you know, this gem made its fabulous entrance to the market not so long time ago, and it is expected to become the second Paraiba. I, my customers and many investors inclined to believe this forecast. That's why we all started to buy the gem while the price is not too high. Here we have classic design, white gold, white diamonds and the tourmaline itself. Number 14 is a pendant with dolphins. I don't know exactly what they're supposed to symbolize for the owner, but that's none of my business, I never ask. However, normally in all cultures dolphins are positive characters. Only in medieval England they were depicted as sea monsters for some reason, I have no idea why, but that's the fact. The gem here is a heated blue zircon from Burma, well basically that's why it is blue. Zircons, tanzanites and often even sapphires are heated and that is how they become blue. Without that procedure many of them are quite unappealing. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed any of the jewelry pieces and you would like to make your own one, just look up the WhatsApp number under this video and I will guide you through the protest. So far, take care and goodbye.